let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Out here on a beautiful day in Ohio, enjoying myself on my CBR 1000 Double R. But hey guys, so I went uh, shopping for a third bike. I took a uh, chance to go in my local dealer and see what they have going on there. Check out some bikes. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in the dealerships. And uh, I tell you guys, I the more I see the Yamaha FZ09, the more I'm impressed with it. When I sit on the bike, it just feels really good. It feels natural to me. It feels, it feels like a bike that I want to own. And then I saw that graphite with the high vis yellow wheels. Woo! Uh, you know, on film, it didn't look that great to me. But in person, it looks awesome, man. It looks really sick. Those high vis wheels are just amazing. But yeah, I sat on the bike, man. The bike, it just, it feels so light. You know, I really wanted to do a test ride, but I didn't have the time to do it, man. I just popped in there for a hot second. I, I sat on the uh, the Suzuki uh, 1000 naked bike. I don't know. I forgot the exact model name of it. Uh, but I sat on that bike, and that bike felt so much bulkier compared to the FZ09. And, and going back and forth with the weight on it, it felt it didn't feel good man it didn't even feel as good as this this CBR 1000 uh, that I have and I would I just really wasn't feeling that bike at all I know some people really like that bike but I, I'm, I don't even really care for the looks on the bike that much I prefer the FZ 09's looks um, I also set on a, a new uh, Yamaha R1 uh, I think it was a 2015 it may have been a 2016, I don't think so though. But I sat on that bike, man, and that bike is strictly set up for the track. I'll tell you that, guys. I mean, it has low clip-ons. It, it feels, that is not a bike that I want to be cruising on around out here on the streets, man. It doesn't feel not as nearly as comfortable as my CBR 1000 RR here. Just, I wasn't feeling that bike. It, it's an awesome bike, but if I were to be dedicated to track that would be the bike to get if I wanted to spend that type of money for the track but that is definitely not a bike that I want to be cruising the streets on man the seat was hard it just that's the first time I sat on that bike and just the bike just didn't I don't know it didn't feel good to me like it like it does when I you know when I first sat on my CBR 1000 double R at the dealer I was like damn this bike is sick it feels comfortable it just felt good it just clicked with me also i took a look at a uh, r6 they had there uh the yellow r6 the anniversary edition i believe that was a new bike um now if i were to get into serious track riding i would most definitely consider the r6 i know a lot of you guys hoot and holler about the r6 and you love it mainly because of its looks and it's it's you know it's fast as hell at the top end for 600 and uh, but it, it lacks all the bottom and power you want for street riding which some people just up the rear sprocket in the back you know get a little bit more pull off the line but I tell you guys if I get into track riding I would definitely consider that bike I'm, I'm talking about buying a dedicated track bike I would definitely consider the R6 I actually wish I didn't get rid of my uh, CBR 600 double R to be honest with you that would have made an absolutely awesome dedicated track bike you know, now I have my, my bug out van, which actually I purposely built not only to bug out in the van with my motorcycle, but also as a, a track van as well. And uh, so I definitely seriously want to get consider getting into the track scene at least a, a handful of times a year, you know, in the summertime, a summer and fall, bust out at least maybe five or six sessions or something like that. But it just seems like a dedicated track bike would would be so much better that I can push it a little harder if it if I you know you crash on the bike on the track I could 
you know I can fix it up and I, I don't have to worry about you know missing out on a bike uh, missing out on street riding and have to worry about building the bike back up because it'll just be dedicated for track only immediately what the fuck is going on here what the hell probably another drunk driver or something but uh yeah also I, I uh, took my bike to get a dyno tune a WR250R and I saw a sick bike there that makes me actually think about get getting a uh, Harley Davidson bagger man I saw you know those bikes are heavy as fuck you know that's really not my my thing but for just cruising you know weight doesn't really make a big deal if you're just cruising you know out here in the country but I tell you this bike look absolutely freaking sick blacked out freaking had the chrome the big front wheel custom stereo system on there it had all the little parts extra parts chromed out parts on there it just made that bike look really beautiful I absolutely love those bikes uh, modded out with the big front wheel man kind of the low rider look with the uh, with the motorcycles with the cruisers I absolutely love that look I know some of you guys are gonna hate you're gonna say that bike is for douchebags trying to show off out here on the fucking streets trying to get some tail out here on the streets get some pussy but I tell you guys it's it's nice to look at your bike and just really admire it there's nothing wrong with uh, admiring and, and wanting a beautiful bike just like you have a beautiful woman you admire your beautiful woman. bikes are like our women guys seriously I mean, you want your wife to look beautiful. You want her to be a whore in the bedroom. And that's, you know, that's why we like these super sports. Because these super sports are freaking holes in the bedroom for us, man. We crank the throttle. I mean, that's like hitting pussy full throttle. Bah, bah, bah. Get it in there. <laughs> Have you busting all kinds of nuts, man? I think that's why I prefer this is my number one choice for motorcycles or super sports. It's just there's nothing else like it, man. It's the power to weight ratio is fucking awesome. But like I said, I love all the bikes. But you ha it'd be awesome to have multiple different types of bikes. You know, that's why I love have my WR250R have fun out here on the off-road. You don't need a fast bike on off-road. And uh, then I got my Super Sport for the street. It'd be nice maybe to have a big-ass Harley Cruiser, you know, all decked out. Fucking looking like a low rider with a nice stereo system on that bitch. Just cruising. And yeah, you can call me a fucking douchebag all day. But I don't give a fuck because I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. You know, anytime they put Harley in front of the name, boy, Harley Davidson, that's like an extra $10,000 surcharge just for the fucking name. <laughs> you ain't get no extra, nothing extra really better than any other motorcycle. You're just getting that name, you know. And I'm not a hater, by the way. I love Harley Davidson. I love them. But hey, guys, that's all I have for you. If you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. All my videos are categorized into various playlists. Hopefully you can find something that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, subscribe to my All of My Motorcycle channel. Hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. Let's get more riders out here on the streets, guys. I want to motivate, motivate more people to get into motorcycling, man. We need to increase our numbers out here on the streets. But I appreciate all you guys. You know, I take care. And uh, until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Stay safe out here on the streets. Check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.